Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to create a simplest possible WebSocket with Java 7 and a little bit of Maven 3. So I would like to start with uh, the simplest possible Maven archetype for Java 7 and Java 8 and um, I call this the project WS for WebSocket and basically I need to create a simple class on the server which um, accepts the request from the browser or pushes the data to the browser and I call the class echo in package com ehex. So class echo and uh, the class has to be annotated with server endpoint which is similar to um, to um, path in JAXRES and basically I need two methods. The first is um, connect with session and I would like to use or I have to use the um, on open annotation and the session has to be a session from WebSocket package and I have to remember the session here so I will do session equals session and I would like to create a field so it looks good on the same note I would like to close the session in case the um, browser closes the connection and this is a corresponding on close annotation and this will just reset the session or yeah and of course I would like to output some something on the server for debug purposes and here I will say closed and the main business logic happens in on message and I would like to have a string as input and the method has to be annotated well the method has to be annotated with on message and it's on message so and of course output this and now I would like at the same time to send the modified data back and for this purpose I'm going to use the async remote because I'm a lazy um, if you use the async remote you don't have to catch the exceptions and say echo plus msk so this is actually the simplest possible WebSocket implement, um, implementation on the server side implementation but to show you whether it it works I will have to implement a small HTML page as well so I will call it uh, index um, um, and hack a little bit have to hack a little bit JavaScript but without any additional framework so just plain vanilla JavaScript and this WebSocket comes with um, um, newer browsers and uh, it expects an URI which starts with WS for insecure and or WSS for secure web sockets and um, port 8080 the um, context URI is WS and I think echo was the uh, URI so we have to use the same path here so WS is the application name echo is the path and, um, and this is basically the same like it were a servlet. So socket and now on the client we would like to register for messages and what happens then we can register a method. This is how it works in JavaScript and I would like to expect a function or an object event and of course use the plain old or good old alert box to display some data. But now nothing will happen because we need to initiate the request from the client or from the server. So it's actually here the connection opens. So I would like to use a button and on click. And here I would like to say socket.send. Um, hey Duke. Send and the button. With a little bit of luck, it should work. So uh, run. Now it will start Glassfish and deploy the application and um, let's see what happens. So we have the send button and as you can see um, this with a send to uh, pushing the send button we got echo hey Duke this was the response from the server and let's see um, what happens here. Um, as you can see uh, um, the session was initiated first here and the message hey duke arrived on the server so um thank you for watching and have fun with websocket and see you in upcoming conferences air hacks so we have a dedicated html5 and ui day so we'll talk about websockets and jaxres and everything as well um projects and um or during the uh, air hacks qa 
monthly show question and answer event. So thank you for watching. Bye.